In this video, we will create the main screen for Knowledge Check 2. So let's first go look at the storyboard to see what we're going to create. So on Knowledge Check 2, we will create a multiple choice question, like what you can see right here. And the question will be, at what point do you add in the third ball when juggling three balls? And these are the choices, A, B, C, and D, and C is the correct answer. You do that before the second ball lands. We will show the avatar, but just her head, and there'll be a speech bubble here with the instructional text. So I'm just gonna read over the programming considerations. So what we're going to create is a pick one free form question type. And we're going to set each answer, A, B, C, and D, as a separate text box. And at the back end, under the form view, we're gonna specify which text box is the correct one. It is C in this case. And that we will show in the next video when we talk about the slide layers. We will also indicate that the learners get two attempts before the remediation is shown, at which point a review link is included so they can return to where they saw the information, which is in step four. You can also highlight the answers in a color as they select a choice. I chose blue. And you can modify the selected state of the text box to do this. So I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's go back now to the slide. And we're gonna start by converting this slide. So this is the Knowledge Check 2 slide we created in the beginning in the layout video. We're gonna convert this to a freeform slide. So I'm gonna choose this one here, pick one. So pick one question, let the user choose a shape as an answer. So we're gonna choose a text box as an answer. Okay, so now we're in the form view. We're gonna come back to this after because we have nothing on the slide really. So we can't really do anything yet. We just have two blank text boxes. So let's go to the slide view and let's put in the title. I'm gonna delete this text box here first because we don't need that one. And let's put in the title. And let's bold that and change the color. All right. And let's go back to the storyboard now and copy in the question text. So this is the question text here. So let's just copy that in. And I'm gonna go over here and paste special, just paste the text, there we go. Okay, so now let's go copy in the text boxes for each of the choices for the multiple choice question from the storyboard, one at a time. So I'm gonna copy text box A, and then I go to paste special. And just move that up a little bit, and let's go get B, C, and D. Okay, so there's all the text boxes. Let's just make sure that we have the right one. So we have when you throw the second ball, when you throw the first ball, before the second ball lands, and before the first ball lands. When you throw the second ball, when you throw the first ball, before the second ball lands, and before the first ball lands. Okay, so we're good there. Now let's just label those A, B, C, and D. And I'm going to bold the letters there. And I'm going to make all the text boxes size 18. So just hit control and then select them all. 
and then change it to 18 there. And then I'm going to just reposition these a bit better and resize them. I'm going to actually go to size and position to make sure they're going to be um, lined up properly because I've already done this before when I created a demo for myself. So you can copy this or you can just eyeball it as well. So I'm going to change the position for text box A to 171, 118. And text box B, I'm going to change that to 171, 181. And text box C will be 171, 241. And text box D will be 171, 295. Okay, so those are set there. I'm also going to make sure they're about the same size because we're going to add a like a blue highlight glow to this so that when they're selected, you will be able to see which one is selected. You don't have to do that. I just thought it was a nice enhancement when I was creating this originally. So let's just make sure they're, oh, so this one needs to be brought out a bit there. So it's lined up with the others. There, okay. Now let's copy in the avatar and the caption with the instructional text from Knowledge Check 1. So go back here to the story view and go to knowledge check one here. And let's just copy the avatar in and this text box here, this speech bubble. Paste her in like that. And then we're going to set the size and position of the avatar here. So right click and go to size and position. The size we're going to set at 774 and 305. So we're almost there. Let's just adjust that. There we go. And position we're going to set at 207, 338. So this will mean that just her head will show below the question. And now let's copy in the text from the storyboard to replace this text here for our speech bubble. So it's going to say, select the correct response. Go over to paste special, just take the text and then we're just going to move this down. And I'm just going to resize that a bit. You can just eyeball this if you'd like. See where you like it. So I'm just going to extend that right there. All right, I think that looks pretty good. We can always come back and adjust that later. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to set the selected state of each of these text boxes to show a blue kind of glow, like I said, so that we know which one is selected. So the way you do that is just using the states here, down here. So go to states. So we're at states right now. So we were in timeline. We can go to states and we can add a selected state. So go to edit states and then click here, new state, and then go to selected and then click add. And then we can go and format that to a different color. So I'm going to pick this blue color that I've used before. And then we can add a shape effect 
So I'm going to pick this one here, the glow. So it's this one, accent color five, 15 pixels glow. But you can use whatever you'd like, or you don't have to do this at all. This is just, I thought it looked nice when they were selecting it, that it highlights it. Now go down to done editing states. And then let's go to text box two and then three and four here. And we'll do the same thing for all of them. So go down to edit states, click on add new state, click selected, add, go to format. I think we're there already. And then just click here because we've already selected the color and then go to shape effect, glow. There we go. And then done editing states. And then the third one here, choice C, edit states, add a new one, selected, format, change the color, add a glow effect, and then done. And then the last one here, edit states, add a new state, selected, add, format, change the color to blue, and then add the glow effect, and then click done. There we go. All right, so that's pretty much all for the main screen for Knowledge Check 2. So in the next video, we will look at how to configure the back end of this question slide. So that will be where we look at creating the correct, the incorrect, and we'll add another slide layer, try again, so they get to have a second attempt. Mm -hmm.